My name is Elizabeth Satterley and you're watching Atherton On Air. Here's what's trending. On Tuesday, Ms. Green's class was studying the effects of putting acid on metal in the lab. We decided to take a look at what students were learning in class. She had us get a bunch of these materials of like different uh, characteristics and test them. So like she had, had us test if they were brittle or if they were hard or if you could like, if you could kind of shape them. And she also is having us test if they react to certain uh, chemicals, like one of them is hydrochloric acid, I think. Um, it was really, it was kind of cool to see, um, you know, how different things react to uh, different chemicals. Um, it was also cool that a lot of things that can look the same um, can be can have completely different uh, compositions, and you can just do a whole bunch of different stuff with things. Thanks to Ms. Green for letting us cover that story. This year, the bells are back. Bells ring in between classes to notify students and teachers when it's time to leave, and they warn students when there's only a minute left to get to class. Students have different opinions when it comes to this matter. Here's what some Atherton students have to say about the bells coming back. Um, my opinions on the bells is I like the bells because we've been out of school for like a year and a half, and so it helps you get like back on track of going back to school, being there for eight hours a day, five days a week. It helps you focus, and then also it can be very helpful to the teachers, especially if you're doing like testing and stuff. Like we're doing map testing right now, so if like you're doing map testing, your teacher's like, oh, oh yeah, you guys gotta go, so you can guys can go now. It helps a reminder for yourself and the teachers, especially with NTI. So, yeah. Um, I, I think they've been nice. I didn't think I was going to like them. It seemed like they would be kind of annoying, but um, they've been like really nice uh, just as sort of an assurance because I haven't really needed them, but they've been nice to uh, make you feel better like when you just get to class and you hear the bell ring after. It's just sort of like a nice reassurance. One thing I sort of don't like is that late bell for that one minute because then teachers are yelling in the hallways, a minute, 30 seconds. It's just unneeded in my opinion. But other than that, I like the structure that they provide. Now, let's hear from Caden Ely and Will Seckman for this week's music review. I'm William Seckman. And I'm Caden Ely for After 10 On Air, here to give you a weekly music recommendation. This week, we're listening to the artist Rap Fiera, formerly known as Milo and Scout Hotel. He has collaborated with many other artists, such as Bus Driver and Open Mike Eagle, under the label Hellfire Club. Rap Fiera is an experimental rapper, poet, and beat maker from Kenosha, Wisconsin. He speaks on philosophical ideas such as time, metaphysics, and objective truths. The artist stands by the concept that poetry is the language of philosophy, that you can be successful in the machine, but your art will forever be compromised. His latest album is titled Bob's Son, and it's the second album released under the name Rap Fiera after Purple Moonlight. Bob's Son is an album influenced by soul samples and plays partial homage to the beat poet Bob Kaufman, who is deeply influential in the beat Nick and jazz community. Let's tune in to Rap Fiera's Stream of Consciousness. The ears and consciousness of the creator of the universe, you fool. <laughs> Thanks, Caden and Will, for that music review. We also want to remind everyone who is eating lunch in the courtyard to clean up after themselves. There are trash cans located outside for the trash to be disposed of once you are done eating. We appreciate everyone's help with keeping Atherton clean. This week's Freshman of the Week is Isla Fairhot Begovic. Let's hear from Ms. Anderson and see why she was chosen. Isla is a student in my U.S. History class. Um, she is a ninth grader who has really stood out as being someone who is motivated and responsible. Um, she is really engaged in class discussion and she volunteers to help other students when they need it. Um, so she has really just started off this school year in a fantastic way. I'm, I'm very proud of her. Now for some hallway headlines. If you are driving to Atherton, you need to park in the spot that corresponds with the number on your parking tag. Parking tags cost $20 and are still available in the front office. You may not park at Atherton if you do not have a parking tag. Cars without tags displayed are subject to towing. Are you interested in the chess club? Chess club meets every Monday and Thursday in the library from 2.30 to 4 o'clock. The National Honor Society is having their first meeting of the year on Wednesday, September 15th from 2.30 to 3.15 in the cafeteria. The Y Club meets every Thursday in the cafeteria after school. 
The Google Classroom code is on your screen if you are interested in joining. The Beta Club will soon be selling Atherton masks for $10. Keep an eye out for more information on that soon. If you are joining the Beta Club, dues must be paid by September 15th, and the form must be turned into Ms. Balakos in room 104. Seniors in the Rho Kappa are meeting this Monday at 2.30 in the cafeteria. The Environmental Club is having their first meeting on Monday, September 13th in room 214. And lastly, if you would like to purchase a yearbook, you can go to balfour.com to pre-order one for $60. There are also yearbooks on sale from last year in room 125. Make sure to check out the hallway headlines outside of room 128 for any up-to-date club information or school news. We love seeing all of your red, white, and blue shirts in honor of remembering 9-11 victims. Make sure to take a moment this Saturday, September 11th, to honor and remember those who lost their lives. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune into Atherton on Air for all your up-to-date school news. Have a great weekend and see you next week.